Hi there, I'm Phil Vallette, and today we're going to be looking at how to do something in Postman that I've found very valuable. Uh, that is to capture a, va a value from a response and set a global variable with that value. Uh, we're just going to use some of the out-of-box requests from Postman Echo just to get this up and running quickly. We've got a basic auth that comes with it. All it does is send the Postman with the password to the Postman Echo uh, endpoint and gets back a response of authenticated true. What we want to do is take this value of true and set it into a global variable. Uh, the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go into tests. Tests are run after the execution and they're made to validate to do things like validating the response. Does it have a 200? Uh, do we have authenticated in the body? Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pull out, first of all, we're using the snippets here, and I've altered these already. We're going to pull out the, um, we're going to go from the, from the snippets here. Uh, we can get, or we can later, there's one called set a global variable, so we can use the one to set a global variable. You can just bring these into your. Uh, you just bring these into your tests here. You don't have to run a test in here. You can just run code, uh, and with that code, we're just pulling the response JSON out of there. It's JSON data, uh, grabbing the authenticated property, uh, the value of that, which is going to be true, and we're going to PM global set authenticated to whatever's in that response. So after we run this, the test script will run. It's going to validate those responses. We can get our uh, test results from that. Let's, now let's take a look at this all together. We've got our response. Um, and up here, we can now see that global's authenticated is set to true. Uh, let's just go ahead and do something quickly to verify that. I'm going to change the password, send it, and unauthorize. Of course, something wrong, went wrong with our scripts because that's we don't have the JSON in our response. We've got a 401. We could write some conditional if we wanted to to say if, if the response code is not 200, don't run this. But by and large, you can set those values within your test responses. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Phil Vallette. Uh, subscribe for more short videos in the future. Thank you.